Chameleons, it's Tasha. How are you all doing today? I hope you guys are doing great and just ready for a fun weekend. But today, if you haven't been watching the videos I made before, I'm on a roll y'all, so bear with me. I am getting the videos out for y'all. <laughs> but anyway, you probably may notice my nails looking a little different. I finally became inspired. Um, I recently uh, am subscribed to Julie G713, um, another um, YouTube guru out there, and she did a tutorial re recently on um, a look inspired by Rihanna's nails, and she basically had like a orange and yellow polished nail with the animal print. Well, I came up with my own. I just wanted to play with pink nail polish, and I wanted an animal type of tiger print on my nail. So if you like this nail look, Stay tuned and keep on watching for the tutorial. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you want to do before doing this nail tutorial is definitely apply your base coat. And the base coat I'm using today is by Orly and it's called Tough, Tough Cookie. And I like it because it helps strengthen, smooth the nail and helps slow down the creating breakdown of the nail. So it just overall helps hold that nail polish on longer and create a smoother finish. So I've already polished my nails with the Orly and the next thing I'm going to use um, is apply our very first color. And the first color is by OPI and the color name is called You're a Piece of Work. I don't know if my camera will zoom in let you see that, but it's just a beautiful um, bright pink. And we're just going to apply that um, to our nails and I may do two coats. So let's go ahead and polish our nails. Okay, so once you have your nail polish on, let that dry for about a few minutes and then we'll be right back and start the, the fun detailing of the animal print. So stay tuned and I'll be right back with the next step. Okay, now that you let your nails dry, the next thing we're going to do is actually add on the animal print design on each nail. Now what I'm going to use for that is Sally Hansen's and it's the Nail Art Pen in black. Um, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with these. The great thing about it, when you draw a design, if you need to, if you make a mistake, you can easily remove it with water. The other thing that I thought I didn't like about it is that it got very um, cracky um, when you add your top coat. But I tried this again and I didn't really have that problem. So, we're going to use this tip. But all you're going to do is, I'm um, really freehanding this, but you're going to create your animal stripes. And they can just be something random design when you create them. So they don't have to be nothing perfect by any means. But just randomly draw your lines in just like so. And kind of have them overlapping and kind of going out random. And just filling in. So there's not really a rhyme or reason to this at all. I think the less perfect the lines are, the better. So see, we have one right there. Hope my camera didn't get too blurry on you guys. But we're going to just keep drawing these stripes in, okay? how simple that was. Don't worry about if you get any black or anything on the sides and nails. You can clean it up. But basically that's pretty much it. If you want to add more detailing or gaps or 
reduce the gaps you can always go back in and just kind of fill in where you need to but I like that it's kind of raw and rigid but once you've done that you can definitely go ahead and um, add your top coat and you definitely want to do this otherwise you wash your hands with these Celia Hansen nail heart pins you will lose a little bit of your design so the top coat that I will be using is the Setch Beach which is a fast drying top coat which I love a lot can you tell I used a lot of it already but once you finish the look you can definitely add your favorite top coat nail polish and you're pretty much done well welcome back I hope you guys enjoyed the nail tutorial I know the video may have probably been a little grainy or um, kind of blurry um, this camera it's a can it's a Kodak 10.3 megapixel um, I noticed the zoom is very bad so um, bear with me what I may do is um, do my nail tutorials with my flip camera which is a little bit better for zooming and getting more fine detail so um, anyway let me know what you thought of the tutorial if you thought it was fun or helpful or if you can't wait to see the other camera filming the nail tutorials let me know but anyway I better get going I hope you guys again enjoy the tutorial thank you for stopping by and I'll talk to you guys soon bye